Hello and welcome to Parasitology and Mycology. This is going to be the first of three presentations that cover class Nematoda, the roundworms. The objectives we're going to cover in this lecture series are going to be to identify the taxonomy which Nematoda belong, describe the general biological characteristics of the nematode, explain how humans are infected, list morphological characteristics of common nematodes that cause human infection, and to explain the life cycle of the nematodes listed in this lecture series. Some of the terms we're going to cover include the filariform larvae, which is the third or infective stage. It is thread-like and designed for penetration. The rhabditiform larvae has the presence of a muscular esophagus, a bulbar pharynx, and describes the worm leaving the egg. The egg is characteristic of the genus and the size and shape are generally consistent. The larvae undergo several molts, with the third stage usually being infective. The size of the adult usually varies depending on the genus and can range from less than a millimeter to over a meter in length. Nematodes comprise the largest group of parasites that cause human infection and they're referred to as the roundworms because they are round when viewed in cross-section. Nematodes belong to the phylum Ascalminthus, and the fecundity of the parasite is proportional to the complexity of their life cycle, meaning species involving direct contact transmission produce fewer offspring, whereas species requiring multiple hosts often produce more offspring. Humans are the definitive host of the medically significant roundworms, which means they harbor the reproducing adult roundworm. Depending on the species, the adult female nematode can produce infective fertilized eggs or infective larvae. The fertilized eggs can be immediately infective upon ingestion or may require a period of development to reach that infective stage. Also, the fertilized egg can be transmitted by an insect vector. The larvae may also require a period of development to reach the infective stage. Developing larvae go through four molts during the incubation period, with the third stage filariform larvae most often being the infective stage. The larvae, too, may require an insect vector for transmission. The anatomy of the nematode includes a buccal capsule, which may have oral hooks, teeth, or plates. The tough exterior surface is known as the cuticle and is underlain with several layers of muscle. They have an internal organ system, which includes a nerve cord and a well-developed digestive system. The digestive system includes a muscular esophagus, gut, and anus. Nematodes have two separate sexes, males and females. The males are usually smaller than the females and have curved or coiled posterior ends with copulatory specules. Some species have a bursa that is an organ used to hold females during copulation. The utility of that curved tail in the males allows the females to swim through the curved end and pass by the copulatory specules and impregnate the female as it swims through. The reproductive organs of the male include the testes, the vas deferens, the seminal vesicle, and the ejaculatory duct. The females are larger than the males and their reproductive organs include two ovaries, oviducts, uterine seminal receptacles, and a vagina. This is going to conclude part one of three of class nematoda. We'll pick this back up with class nematoda part two.